Hello, it is a new week and if you want to know what is going to be going on this week, then let's just take a pause here for a moment and I'm going to get you to press that subscribe button and like this video because that's what we do so that you can see the rest of this video, right? Good morning, it is Sunday morning. I've already been out on a nice hour long walk this morning to down to the ocean through Beacon Hill Park and back home again, enjoying the beautiful cherry blossoms. The, all of Victoria is out in bloom right now. It is so gorgeous. We just spent some time driving through the streets of Victoria <laughs> filming all the cherry blossoms. Some of the cherry blossoms we could have probably spent all day doing that but and it's so fun because when you do that here nobody even bats an eye everybody just smiles and says oh look they're filming the cherry blossoms because <laughs> everybody else is just out doing it with their cameras Yesterday was fun. We had the videographers meet up and I thoroughly enjoyed that. Even though Al was away, Al, you have to check out his channel right now because he's road tripping through the US. He's in Portland right now heading up to, um, oh, where's he going? Vegas. <laughs> so I'm enjoying his vlog right now, but we did miss him yesterday. Apcar is straight back from uh, an all expenses paid trip to, the UK to I think I believe it yeah he was in London so he was telling us all about that and it was exciting to hear about that and then we I was playing some really fun upcoming collabs with there's a new uh, guy who joined her uh, videographers meetup yesterday his name is Patrick and he has a whole YouTube channel on how to tie ties and so this is going to be great for collaborating for December when that comes up again because uh, men and women can come together in that the men can wear ties, bow ties through December and uh, well the women are wearing dresses so we're going to collab on that and he's talking about bringing in some other people to help us with that and then uh, our friends Vaughn and Shelly who are amazing photographers are going to help us with that too. We're going to do some photography and so that's turning into a big big collab that we're really excited about. We're going to get together with Vaughn and Shelly this week too. So this is uh, Lab City <laughs> and uh, my friend Jeff too we're talking about doing some more collabs bringing Jeff on the channel because I know you guys all like when he comes on he has so much uh, wisdom to share about Chinese medicine and I said we need to get you back on to talk about some of the most frequently asked questions so he'll be coming back on soon too so that's what's up <laughs> at the beginning of this week that's a lot and we are heading up to the farm now to get some veggies because our fridge is bare after being away in uh, Tofino and Yuki last week. Okay, we got some groceries and now we are at, it's called the Roost, right? Yeah. We're at the Roost having some, well, we're not having lunch yet. We wish we were having lunch, but we're waiting for our lunch to come. 
I'm gonna show you the roost. Take my vitamins. Tim's taking his vitamin D. It's a beautiful day today. Look at this sunshine. There's, uh, I'll show you the place. It's really, it's a really nice place. Um, James showed it to us. He's he leads our hiking group. And then there's this really cute uh, bus that you can eat on the bus, but it's too nice to. We've never eaten in the bus actually. No. Because it looks, I think it looks a little claustrophobic. Or I don't know, maybe too many weird memories of being on a bus as a kid. But I'll show you around. I'll show you. <laughs> I don't, well, I don't know. I think I was, that's not a nice joke, actually, Tim. But <laughs> I think I don't. I think I guess sit, the idea of sitting and eating on a bus. When I guess maybe I I've always kind of felt a little sick on a bus. You know, you go on that bus and you up and down. And, the wheels of the bus. Yeah. Go so I don't really want to sit and eat on a bus. But I'll show you. It's really cute and then I'll show you the place, and then maybe when I get back, our food will be ready. Ooh. That would be nice. Don't worry. I they already called our number. Number three, is it ready? And even they showed up with one sandwich is right, and I'm like, well, that's not what I ordered, but it was actually for the table right over there. So. Good here, though. Yeah, they do really good sandwiches, so that's why we're here. And then we'll be able to go home, and we have a lot of work to do. Sundays, there's, Sundays is a big get ready for the weekday for us. Yeah, we've got to write up the vlog, even though we're starting next week's vlog, get it ready to go out, and then schedule all our social media for the week, and lots to do this afternoon. So we thought we'd better fuel up so we don't kill each other, because that doesn't work well for anybody. You guys kind of need us around, right? <laughs> It is Monday afternoon and we just finished filming a short video and also it did a short short photo shoot Tim and I for some things that we have been needing to do you know the number of times that <laughs> people ask me do you have a business card the only business card I have I actually had I think I gave away my last one recently and it had a photo of oh, oh Tim's gonna be really annoyed here hold on there, now you're gonna be able to hear me better. <laughs> you're gonna s speak up. <laughs> um, and yeah, you always say that. Anyway, the photo of me on the business card was like from when Donna was first our squeeze sponsor. This is like gotta be six or seven years ago. Yeah, so you know, I was a baby then. And that's one of my biggest pet peeves is when people don't update their photos. <laughs> so I don't really look like that anymore. <laughs> I've aged over the years quite a bit. So we were updating my photos. Also, the, that photo was from Ontario. So I wanted a photo that looked like where we are now. So we did photos in this lush forest, which is awesome. And then I need, I wanted some photos of me doing meditation, which, you know, so cheesy, but it's got to be done, right? Because I'm doing so much meditation lately, and then I'll need a photo to show, hey, we're doing meditation, or there's some meditation going on, and I actually don't have any photos of me doing that. So we needed some, and I didn't have any, so now we have some. I'm really happy with them. So that's what we've been doing, and we did it here in Goldstream um, Provincial. Is it Provincial Park? Yeah, we'll just call it Goldstream Park right now, because it's so lush, and I wanted to, it to be in the forest and to have all that mossy background, and so we definitely had that. It was really comfortable actually sitting in all that lush. Uh, it's almost like a little mattress sitting in the in the moss. So that was good. And so now we will head back into the city and I will be leading another live meditation group this evening. Had one this morning, another one this evening. So see, there's very much need for uh, some meditation photos. So I'm glad we've got some meditation photos in our belt and I'm glad we've got some photos to use for the, to get a business card, another business card to make. Cause I can't tell you how many people, how many times people say to me, do you have a business card? And I'm always like, huh? nope. So now we will be able to order more business cards. 
so that is good. Monday is here. Tuesday will be coming. Now I am rambling. Time to head back into the city. It would be nice just to hang out here in the forest for a little bit longer. But I think it's time to go back into the city, have some dinner before meditation class. It's Tuesday morning and I spent the morning putting together a tr an online retreat for our members. And we we're just waiting for the fire department to show up because uh, last night we had a, one of our drone batteries catch on fire. And it's still smoking this morning, so we called the fire department to find out what we should do. We should drop it off at uh, the fire department. And they actually wanted to come and pick it up for us. So we're just sitting downstairs and waiting for the uh, fire department to come and pick it up right now. So they're not going to do sirens, right? No, I asked them not to, and they said, okay, well, um, they don't want to do sirens. That's good. Um, but you know what? It is important to know, right? Like, I don't, these, this is a lithium high capacity lithium ion battery. You can probably see it in there uh, for the drone, and it's, um, yeah, you can see it. it's actually gone black, but it's still smoldering. And that was from yesterday. It's yeah, almost 24 hours. It's, it's been almost smoking. 24 hours, and it's still smoldering. So I put it in water overnight, and. Here we are the next day, and I pull it out of the water, and it's still smoldering. Yeah, I can smell it. It's gross. It's disgusting. So, yeah. So, just so I guess what I'm saying is, just be really careful with these high capacity batteries. I've been storing them um, just in I, foam. They, the whole thing could have that case, right? Yeah, like could the whole caught. case is melted and deformed here. But these things are just make sure you're storing them properly, right? Put them on cement. Don't put them anywhere near. There's something you can catch fire. Scary. Scary O's. Hello, it's Thursday afternoon and Tim and I are out for a walk. It's raining, it's snowing, it's pink snow, it's Victoria snow. The cherry blossoms are coming down. And Tim, the question on everybody's mind is, are you still able to hold your head on your shoulders? Well, sometimes it gets a little tight. <laughs> it's a little tight. Tim has experienced some success <laughs> with his uh, <laughs> photography. So uh, we just want to thank everybody who gave him the big, how many likes? I, I let everybody know on Facebook about your success. And how many likes did that photo get? And, and I saw last time I saw it, eight people shared it too. Oh wow! Yeah. So that was kind of insane. So thank you everybody for your support. That was really really kind of you. And we survived the drama of the battery smoking. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> that was the last time I vlogged. So we got that all dropped off and squared away. Yep. And also just wanted to thank everybody for their support. I'll give you an update at this, about this at the end of the week, but at Thursday right now, this has been out for a day. We, it was super scary actually for me to ask, but we asked for your support in helping me get to some training that was just gonna be too uh, financially prohibitive for me personally, for our family. And you guys have been amazing. The support that's come forward in just a day has that's been awesome, right? over $1,000. So I feel incredibly humbled yeah. and People excited. Want you to be better educated. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes, go get more training, get more please. Training. You need it. You need it. <laughs> yeah. So I'm really grateful to be able to go and do this training. My teacher, Neil McHinley, here in Victoria, is an incredible teacher. He's been studying with Reggie Ray at Dharma Ocean for over 20 years. I feel very grateful to be connected with him here, to be able to go over to Salt Spring for seven days in June and to have that intensive time in silence there and to uh, just be able to soak it all in. So I'll keep you updated about that as the week rolls on, but at this point it does look like your support is going to make it possible and I'm really, really grateful. I want to know Tim. <laughs> It's a beautiful day here. Oh my God, this blue sky is incredible. But we're walking into Cook Street Village and I have Bubby's kitchen in my site. I'm just wondering uh, when the next time, my next payment's coming up for photos, photo shoot assisting. 
well, you've got. I've a, got Bubby's in my sight. Tuesday. Tuesday? Yeah. I thought. Well, I heard from my good friend Christine Salas, who. Oh, that's right. That's Sorry, right. No, Sunday. <laughs> Sunday, yes, that's or Sunday. sooner than Tuesday. That's right. Sunday we do. That's, that's right. <laughs> Love these wood chip paths because I think they're the most comfortable thing to walk on in this entire planet. It feels so good on my hips and on my knees. I just love them. And we have lots of these paths really close to our house all the way through uh, Beacon Hill Park. So these are my favorite paths to walk on. Good morning. It is Saturday morning and I'm sitting in front of my altar, which I've been quite disenchanted with for the past mm, maybe even six months <laughs> for a long time. It's not really speaking to me anymore. And this morning I thought I would just take everything down and reset it up. I'm even going to take all the, almost all the artwork off the wall. It just looks really kitty to me all of a sudden. <laughs> well, before it looked really whimsical, now it just looks really kitty. So uh, yeah, that's my plan for this morning and to reset it up in a way that kind of inspires me where I am on my spiritual journey right now. Hello, it is still Saturday and we thought we'd come out to the government house to finish up the vlog and I've got some mail and then we will close up the vlog. So this one is from Anya Schwelen and actually Anya I still have uh, some art to send you <laughs> sitting on my from December. Oh my goodness this is so beautiful. She says thank you so much for the postcard with your artwork. She thinks she's already got my art because <laughs> I said so here's what happened. I put a card with Anya's address on it and I should have um, taped it to the artwork and uh, what happened was Tim took a pile of cards to the post office and then he just <laughs> he just mailed the card without it being taped to the artwork so she, <laughs> she's sending me a thank you for the uh, so I said here's the artwork and she's probably like she still sends me thank you cards so. very, very sweet uh, and she's got it on our bulletin board. There's some actual art coming on you. I was, she said she's very happy to support December even though she only owns one dress. Um, may you and your teachings continue to flourish and be blessed during these difficult times. You do so much for so many people. We appreciate you. There's actually some artwork coming for you. <laughs> but we've been very... I don't know, sometimes it's like just that uh, d different trip of going to the post office and is just, you know you don't get to it, right? This one came all the way to from Hanoi, uh, Vietnam, and it's from Sudrine, and poor Sudrine, we've been talking back and forth, and she says, I think it didn't make it, but it finally made it. So she sent it in December, so <laughs> we'd given up on this little package. <laughs> she, she told me, she, she sent me a package, but it did finally arrive. So this says, she says, um, old Greek lettering, it says, uh, know thyself, nothing excessive. <laughs> um, oh, so she's talking about uh, invent new ways to adapt and only find out that wisdom was there all along. That's very true. That's really cool. Thank you. I like that. Now this smells amazing. If you, we've been smelling this package for a while. So there's something, there's some spices or something in here. This is uh, some essential oils. It smells really great. That's what smells amazing. Mm. And then there is, oh wow, let's 
see this. Oh, wow. So this is going to go at the bottom. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you so much, Sadrine. I love it. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you. I know a little girl named Trinity who's probably going to co-opt that for her room. <laughs> She's really into wall hangings. Thank you very much. And uh, let's stop this clip and finish with a different clip. Different clip? Like different location? Well, maybe. Sure. Okay. So I wanted to say thank you so much for watching this week, but also thank you so much to all of you who have contributed to the oh, GoFundMe campaign. Uh, there's a deer walking past you. <laughs> so thanks to all of you who have contributed to the GoFundMe campaign that I put together so that I can go to Salt Spring Island for a seven day intensive with my meditation instructor. I've been incredibly grateful and appreciative to all of you who believe in me and my desire to further my education at this time. It's just been humbling to be honest. We have a little bit further to go on that. So if you want to support me in going on a seven day intensive course and silent meditation retreat, then you can do that. We'll put the link below. I'm really grateful for this opportunity. And I think every one of you who have contributed to this opportunity for me. So thanks so much for watching this week and I will see you next week. Uh, not really.